Hi guys, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me Laura and in this video it's going to be the start of a new series and it's going to be the Stitch Library series where I thought I would just do a whole series of tutorials on various different crochet stitches and crochet patterns so you can pick and choose different types of patterns to use in your projects for scarves, blankets, really simple stuff. And in this first video we're going to start off with the closed shell stitch, also known as the closed scallop stitch and this is working to multiples of six plus one. So let's begin, shall we? Okay, so for the closed shell stitch or closed scallop stitch, um, what we're going to do is we're going to work to six stitches plus one. So it's multiples of six stitches plus one. So that basically means working to the six times table, so six, 12, 18, and so on. And then once you've got that amount, that answer, we then just add one on to the very end. So let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the slip knot, and we're gonna do our first six chains. So chain one, two, three, four, five, and six. There's our first six. Then we're gonna add another six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that's so far two times six. I'm gonna carry on and do that one more time. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. Okay, so I'm gonna just go up to 18. So that's three times six. I've done my multiple of six, and just for this sample. And then when I've got that multiple of six, I then add one for this beginning chain. So let's add an extra one. So I've got a stitch count of 19 now. And what we're going to do is we're going to do two double crochet in our fourth chain from hook. So we're gonna yarn over. We don't count the loop on our hook. I count one, two, three, and four. Okay, let's put our hook into there. One, two, three, four. So in our fourth chain from hook, we're gonna do a double crochet. Or in UK terminology, this is going to be a treble crochet. Okay, we want two of those. So we're gonna yarn over again and go back into the same chain. So two double crochet in there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to skip two chains. So I'm going to skip the next chain and the next chain, so skip two. Then in the next chain we're going to do one, we're going to do a single crochet. Okay, so skip one, skip two, then in the next stitch, next chain, we're going to do a single crochet. Okay, or in UK terminology, a double crochet. And then we are going to, then we're going to work, get into our pattern now. So we're going to skip two chains again. So skip one and skip two. Then in the next chain, we're going to do four double crochet. So four of them. So skip one, skip two. The next chain, we do four double crochet. Or in UK terminology, four treble crochet. All in the same chain. Two. three and one more, four. So we've got our first shell, first proper shell, four double crochet in there. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna skip two chain, skip one, skip two. Then in the next stitch, we're just going to do one single crochet. So in the next chain, we're going to just do one single crochet. For in UK terminology, a double crochet. Okay, one single crochet. And then we basically repeat that pattern. So we go back to skipping two, one and two, and then doing four double crochet. Oh, I didn't catch that properly. No. <laughs> there we go, rescued it. So that's one, two, three and four. And then if you remember from the pattern, we skip two, skip the next two, and then we should have one stitch left. We do a single crochet in there. Okay, so you would just repeat that pattern all the way across for your multiples of six. You would just repeat the pattern 
of doing skip two, four double crochet, skip two, one single crochet, all the way to the end. And when you get to the end, like I have, okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, one, two, three, chain three and turn. We're going to do two double crochet in that first stitch below your chains. So go into there, we're going to do two double crochet, or trebles in UK terminology, two double crochet in there. Then you need to find your first shell here. And you want to find the center of your little fan shell. Find the center, and in that gap in the middle, not the stitch, but in the gap underneath, I'm going to put our hook into there, I'm going to do a single crochet. Okay, or a double crochet in UK terminology. Okay, so a single crochet in there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to find the single crochet in between our fans. Okay, so this stitch in between, or you could think of it as skipping two, one, two, then the next stitch, we're going to do four double crochet. Okay, four double crochet in that single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, four double crochet, and then we're going to find the center of our next shell. The center, and find a hole. So you could think of it as skip two, one, two, and find the gap in the middle. And in there, we do our single crochet, okay, in the middle of that shell. Then in the center, in between our shells, in that single crochet, in that stitch, we're going to do four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And then we're at the end, we've only got half a shell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find these chains at the end. So skip two, one, two, find the top of these chains, and then put your hook into the top of those chains neatly as you can. And we're just going to do a single crochet. Okay, so it looks like that. And basically we just repeat that same row. So we're going to chain three again. One, two, and three. Turn your work and do two double crochet in the stitch below your chains. Let's get your half shell for your edge. Two double crochet. Then find the center of your fan, pull it apart, and in the gap in between, we do a single crochet. Okay. Then we find the stitch in between the shells, this double crochet. We do four double crochet in there. That single crochet, remember? Four double crochet. Get all my single crochets and double crochets mixed up. <laughs> Too many terminologies. So four double crochet or trebles in UK terminology in there. Then we find our next shell and we split it apart and find that gap in the middle and in there do a single crochet. Then find the stitch in between the shells, this single crochet, and in there we do four double crochet. And you just repeat that pattern all the way to the end, doing your four double crochets and then your single crochet three and four, and then when you get to the end, like I have here on this small sample, we skip the two, one, two, and then the top of these chains, top of your three chains, put our hook into there, as neatly as you can, and do a single crochet. And there we go, we just repeated that, that row again. So I'll do a few more rows and then come back and show you what it looks like. But that is ultimately the closed shell stitch or closed scallop stitch. So again, we repeat that again, chain three, turn we need to do our half shell so do two double crochets in the first stitch then find your shell split it apart and then in the middle do a single crochet so not into any stitch just wrapping it around the top then find the stitch in between your shells that single crochet and do four double crochet in there and just repeat that to the end two, three, four, 
then a single crochet in the middle of your next fan and find the center of it if you can't find the center just skip two and then you'll know roughly where it is single crochet four double crochet in my single crochet in the middle one two three and four then when you get to the end like I have you just do a single crochet in the top of your chains that's the end of the same row so you just repeat that row over and over again so I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you a little block of this pattern and there we go there is my little mini swatch of the closed shell stitch pattern uh, or closed scallop pattern and uh, there you go you can see all your little shells in there looking really pretty and obviously it leaves a wavy edge at the top so you may want to straighten that off to match the beginning so what you can do is just use a mixture of very small stitches and slightly bigger stitches so we could slip stitch up to here and then maybe do a single crochet so let's give that a try and see how it finishes off so I'm doing this on the cuff so let's do a little chain one and turn I'm going to slip stitch over to this little dip here first off so slip stitch in the first few stitches one two three four and I think I'll slip stitch in the next stitch so I'm going to slip stitch up to this single crochet and then do a single crochet on top of that then I'm going to slip stitch over to the next single crochet. That'll keep it fairly simple, won't it? So slip stitch over to the next middle of the dip, this single crochet here. And in that single crochet, we do another single crochet, or double crochet in UK terminology. And then we're going to slip stitch to the end. And let's have a look and see what that looks like. top of our three chains, do a little slip stitch, bring that up and there we go, we've got more of a straighter edge to match the beginning, not too bad and there we go, I think that is finished and join me in my next video, my next stitch tutorial and uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun, cheers guys, bye!